we gotta get ready for auntie pat because she is showing out hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new i'm Alyssa q hope you guys are having a great day if you're ogs thanks so much for coming in we're gonna get straight into this video because i am so excited I was about to say I'm about to throw up, but I'm not going to throw up, you guys. I am going to put a time stamp in this because I feel like it's important to talk about this in the beginning. I am so excited about this because I was having a, like, a poo day. I was just having a moment. You know what I mean? Let's just say we were having a moment. And my mom told me a package arrived. I remember doing this survey. If you guys did not know, I am a part of influencer and although i'm a youtube creator you do not have to be a youtube creator to post reviews that's the thing that i ended up getting into reviews and doing reviews here on my channel is because i love doing it so much that i was going to bring it onto camera but i was doing reviews anyway and so when i got this y'all this really made me happy because this is a pricey item but y'all been waiting for it and it is the pat mcgrath labs foundation i put it on snapchat if you guys love the color purple like i love the color purple like i'm gonna say this for the culture okay most of us know the color purple to the point where we know the words to the color purple so there is a table scene on the color purple whoopi goldberg all of them are there at the table and Opal Winfrey is like rocking back and forth, y'all. I just want to thank you, miss, for just lifting me up. I was feeling down. I was feeling mine to bad. But when I see you, I know there is a God. Pat McGrath, mother, you did it for me. You raised my spirits. If y'all don't know who Pat McGrath is, she's a world-renowned makeup artist and she has graced her presence with so many faces and her and her makeup skills with so many faces on the runway and just celebrities in general but y'all she has her own foundation now i know i have been waiting for this because the eyeshadows really got me excited but it did not get me excited as much as this foundation i cannot wait till mother pat makes a concealer y'all because i didn't see a concealer i did see a primer the powder foundation the primer because even the large youtubers are waiting for this launch but i am going to come and share with you this is going to be a first impression because i just feel like everybody wants to touch this right now and i don't want to wait usually my reviews are like three four days because I like to do it with a primer without a primer and then I like doing it with glowy products and all that kind of stuff we ain't doing that today okay I'm gonna use it as if I was um using it on an everyday basis and um give y'all the deets first of all this is the package it is beautiful y'all I love how this opens up this is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation and y'all this is beautiful it comes in a frosty glass bottle and it comes with a top but it is in a pump come mother mother you get 1.18 ounces of product which is amazing because you're getting a little bit more okay it's expensive this is probably my most expensive uh foundation i think i hit the mark with 40 no, $64 for Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Y'all, this costs more. This is a luxury foundation um, review. And because I'm in a 40 plus, really quality is over, is better than quantity, okay? But again, you get 1.18 ounces of product. The, the foundation itself is $68. I believe the powder is 55. I can't remember what the primer was, but I know that this was the in the come out of her base products this cost the most and again this is 68 it does come in 36 different shades now i will say that it is a really good range like light i say i would say each category has about six to seven categories and the way that i can tell is that if you can tell inside the box it gives light and then light medium and then medium medium deep and then deep i am in the medium 
over here i'm medium 17. i did look on like um her commercials basically on her website and i think i hit it on the mark well we'll see when i did select this i think this went out in the winter months this is how long it's been y'all i totally forgot about this it's been a while so it was like maybe early spring late winter so when i was talking about my shade it was during that time hopefully because this is summer it will still work for me so if the shade is a little off i have not put it on my face but if it's a little off i'll know it's because i did during around that time so i might need to go um a shade or two darker because i do get darker in the summer months but it does have a weightless buildable coverage okay so the coverage is buildable so you can go from sheer to full i'm under, i'm thinking because it says weightless buildable coverage so we'll test the we'll test the coverage okay we'll let it dry and we'll see and then it's the sublime satin finish so it's weightless buildable it has a satin finish which i really like and then it says runway tested mother approved i love that y'all mm and so it does come in 36 shades for all tones undertones y'all and it's a universal formula for all skin types i will say that i did swatch it and i did smell it on my smell the scent there is really no scent to this which is perfect so fragrance free y'all so i'm so excited let's like do the brows and let's get into this okay i just did my concealer one recommendation before putting on foundation highly recommend putting on your uh putting on your skincare and just like walking away doing something then come back and start your foundation and your concealer and stuff because it won't shift and move as much that's just a tip before we use this but we're going to give this a good shake and this comes in 36 different shades it's 68 dollars and you get 1.18 ounces of product so we gave it a good shake we're taking it off and we're going to use i love to use this type of brush when um instead of like a concealer brush especially i noticed that this one is quite a liquidy foundation i'll show it go ahead and pump this out i am in medium number 17 but I, this is one pump y'all did y'all see i only used one pump and i think that's all i'm going to have to use but if you can tell it is a runny type of foundation it didn't say it was quick dry or anything but we will see because i tend to like to it's it's very thin which is where i can get the biddable coverage from and so oh this is high coverage to me did y'all see how much like spread across my face Ooh. It says it's satin maybe when it dries but it's like skin like like that just blended straight up in my skin okay so we got to do one side with the brush um um i'm can i say am i like let's put some up here i might need depending on how my beauty blender absorbs this whoa that just i okay okay so that is half basically of the pump okay i can see how this is going to be buildable if it's yeah i'm gonna let that dry though I'm going to put the other side over here and we're going to go in with the blender. Let me use a like closer in my face mirror because I like to get the ends and odds and I feel like I would cover up the whole thing. Can y'all tell the difference? 
probably a slight one. I'm going to go switch this around because I see some creasing. Just like a tad bit more coverage on this side. You know, I don't think it's the, I think it's the texture of the sponge, but this looks way more airbrushed up close than the sponge. So I'm going to go with another pump of this. And I'm going to use my, this is not even an artiste brush. This is something off of Amazon. I think this was sent to me, but it's supposed to be kind of like a dupe. But we're going to use this. And I'm, I, I did half a pump. The good, I will say this, is that Mother Pat, I, I want to show you guys a whole pump. Like it goes down and it's very fluid. Okay. So this is a full pump and this is half a pump. So a full pump, we're going to go in, I'm going to use the full pump. I'm not going to use a half. Okay. So this is the full pump and we're going to go in and I just dabbed it. I want to use enough on this side. I'm going to use this on this side. So this is basically all over my face right now is two pumps of product. Okay, so we're going to see this build. Yep. Whoa. Break it down the neck a little bit. I love how smooth this is. Mother, I mean, oh, I can't wait for her to make a concealer. I just feel like it's going to be bomb. But I definitely can see the satin finish. It's not radiant. Like, it, it looks natural. I just end up, yeah. That's the thing I like about this brush. Let's see if we can get full. Let's use the other part. And we want to just use it in the middle of the face. Okay. We don't want to use it on the outer part. I mean, I feel like. In person, I don't know how it looks on camera yet, but this looks like a pretty good match. I mean, y'all, my skin looks poreless. And I know how this brush performs, so. Ooh, Mama Pat. I, I, I definitely like how it feels though. Like when it says lightweight and weightless. Like this is on the lines of the, you know, the NARS. I want to give your brain something to be kind of like to compare it to the weightless luminous. But that one shifted a lot on me and it, and it sinked into my like lines like immediately. To the point where like I really had to like powder those down. But mind y'all. Hold on. Y'all I don't have on any powder. And I'm going to tell you another thing. Like. I don't know if this is full coverage. But I did put on two and a half pumps. 
I wouldn't personally go more than this, but I wouldn't be scared to build this up more. Now, I have not said that about a foundation just because it tends to get cakey. This does not look cakey yet, and I've already exceeded. I probably did, usually I would do no more than a pump, maybe a pump and a half. But I've doubled that and I still don't look cakey. I still don't look cakey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish my makeup. And let's go ahead. I'll, I will share. Sh I, will sh uh, I will share with you guys. I am going to use my luminous powders from Hourglass to set my face. And I can do that right now with you guys on camera. So. I'm gonna take my large, this is a pointed blush brush, <laughs> but I'm gonna use it for powder. And I'm just gonna dip in, tap off the excess, and just lightly. Now, even with her powders, she said to lightly because otherwise you will, I don't wanna say ruin the finish, but you will ruin, ruin the effect of the finish because this is satin and I want it to look y'all this looks so good I mean it wasn't like I wasn't expecting auntie pat to come through and I say auntie pat but it's mother okay but I'm gonna use this a little bit to set under my eye too just because it's one of those type of powders but y'all see my lid is we're gonna we're gonna deal with that. Yeah, I'm gonna come back with some makeup on. But I am loving how this looks. Like this is one of those like when you have good bases like this, you don't want to put on too much makeup because you want it to be about the complexion. This is what is given to me right now, y'all. Like even around my nose. And usually I do not like foundations on my nose how they look. But this has like I feel like it's it doesn't I feel like that this doesn't accentuate the fine lines or anything but it kind of like blurs them because usually this right here is extremely red my my laugh lines are more prominent but this is beautiful okay so now I'm gonna take this middle powder and just bring back some life to my face that is a more luminous type of powder and let's finish the rest of our face okay guys so this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this review i just wanted to come back and put on all my makeup but y'all what is my first impression about this it's like 68 dollars did well with this because i looked in the big mirror and i was like whoa poreless can we say like flawless like this is flawless like without going overboard you know what I mean like full coverage um I do feel like that this would be perfect like if you wanted to go more full coverage I feel definitely feel like she got it on point with buildable coverage because a lot of foundations say buildable coverage but girl honey that's like cake layers okay seven tier okay really but this is definitely buildable as you could tell I actually put on three layers okay so that should tell you something that should tell you something okay about this foundation but um i'm really loving it i love how even my makeup applied nothing tugged none of my makeup looks splotchy or like looks like it's skipping because sometimes foundations can be too tacky where it actually tugs and it leaves skips and hops y'all know what i'm talking about it just it doesn't look like a well blended look had no problems with that at all didn't have any problems with how the powder applies to my face but um yeah I, I really do enjoy this is it worth $68 y'all from my first yes <laughs> yeah and I've had this on for about I want to say an hour so I'm just looking to see like it has not um, sunken in two fine lines 
and I just I really like how this foundation y'all this is one of those memorable foundation memorable foundations it's like if I have an event and a red carpet special event every day this is gonna be the ideal one for you I feel like like I said I feel like all skin types I am normal to dry skin but I definitely can see how someone oily would fall in love with this as much so um yeah and combo is like right in between I'm normal to dry and I love it I love it I don't feel like it it clung on to patches I just I could go on about this but we gonna stop here so um yeah this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching you guys I'll see you in the next video bye guys